welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one is for Doctor Who. Um, in the time, part two. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell as well. Tell a friend, keep telling all your friends. You know what time it is. It's the end of time. Thank you. All right, a couple comments from the last episode, uh, starting with executive producer CJ, who says, That reveal of the Time Lords at the end had me shook when I first saw this. It was epic. Those robes and massive collar are such an iconic look, and now that you've seen them, you'll instantly recognize the Time Lords, too. I love the scene with the Doctor and Will uh, in the cafe. It always makes me tear up a little. However, this yeah. time it really hit hard. This is the first time I've seen that scene since Bernard Cribbins died last year. So when the Doctor says, I'm going to die, and Will says, well, so am I someday, I completely lost it. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Um, I do have to say that I'm not really a fan of the Master's power in this episode. Johnson played the part perfectly, but the weird skeleton face, the Hulk-like super jumps, and the bolts of energy coming out of his hands don't they really sit it. right with me for some reason. They but it. it's not enough to spoil the episode or anything, just my opinion. Overall, I really enjoyed this episode, but the next one is where it's at. Cannot wait. Okay. Uh, then Jeremy comes through to say... This was a great episode. I was looking forward to your reaction for these last two specials. So much happened in this episode. There's so much to see the reactions for. The Doctor going to see the Ood, the return of the Master and the death of his ex and all of his followers. The return of Wilf and Donna and the return of the Time Lords. And that's not even everything that happened this episode. The acting from Bernard Cribbins and David Tennant during that scene in the cafe was just fantastic. Their narration from Timothy Dalton was great and did a fantastic job of building up the intensity of the episode. I do agree with CJ's comment that some of the power stuff was a little almost cheesy because of the effects, I think. But they needed something to show how messed up he was after his resurrection was interrupted and to show him using his life force and they have a limited budget. But I think John Sims acting made it all work. Speaking of which, he was also fantastic in this episode. Plus, I like that they address that the drums he's always heard, which was believed to have been just in his head, are actually real. Great reaction. I look forward to the next one. All right, and the last comments from executive producer says, who says, the master is back. He has a thing for resurrections. Haha. Ha. I was just as confused as you two about the master's sudden powers when I first saw this episode. Then I tried finding explanations, and while the doctor's hints at the botched resurre resurrection causing all of this do make sense, after reading up on Time Lord physiology on the Doctor Who week wiki, I was left pretty dumbfounded. Turns out it was hinted at during the classic Who run that Time Lords could theoretically do super powery stuff like even flying. It seems they kind of discarded this idea over the years, years though to save on FX budget and to make uh, the Doctor more akin to humans, although he does still possess many abilities that are superior to humans like his brain capacity, heightened senses, and a much more durable body overall. Mm -hmm. So nowadays when I see the Master throw lightning bolts and jump like a Jedi, I simply think, yeah, Time Lord shenanigans, and leaving it at that, lol. Okay. Great breakdown, though, and I appreciate the fact that you were so uh, dumbfounded, you're like, I'm researching this, yeah. like, this doesn't make sense to me. Uh, so glad you're enjoying this two-parter so far. The scene in that cafe between Wilfred and the Doctor is one of my favorite scenes from the entire show. In fact, Doctor Wilfred scenes all take uh, the top tier spots in that regard, as you'll probably see in the next episode, but that's all I'll see. Oh, and I will give you one warning, maybe keep some tissues at the ready. This will be a big one, and I'm so excited to see your reaction. So you say I'm going to be bawling my eyes out? Is that where we're going? <laughs> all right, great comments as always. Let's jump into the next episode, or the second part right now. There is, um, there is one part of the prophecy, my lord. Forgive me. I'm sorry. It's rather difficult to decipher, but it talks of two survivors beyond the final day, two children of Gallifrey. Mm, the they are, the it yeah. foresees them locked in their final confrontation. The enmity of ages, which would suggest a doctor and 
the master. Mm -hmm. One word it keeps being repeated, my lord. One constant word. Let me turn it on. No, 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 no. I don't think you understand. Everybody on this planet is me. me. Right. And I'm not phoning you, so who the hell is that? There's nobody. I've told you it's not, and it's probably one of their bring back calls. Ooh, Ooh, look at this. Then. Good man. <laughs> Donna. Who's Donna? She's no one. Just leave it. I want to change. change. Well, it was this thing the doctor did. He did it to her. Uh, the meta crisis. Oh, he loves playing with Earth girls. <laughs> Are you there? Find her. Trace the call. Trace the call. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Everyone on Wessex Lane, red alert. Run, sweetheart, that's all run for your life. <laughs> yeah, everybody that lives in this area can just pop up. Uh -huh. Keep going there. Everybody. Oh, I'm starving. Look, I'm telling you, run, I'm still hungry. Just run, sweetheart. Just run. Why is he just like that? Those creatures. Why can I see a giant wasp? Oh, don't think about that, Donna, my love. Don't. It hurts. My head is. It keeps getting hot. Noise in my head. I can help. Don't know what I'd be without that noise. I wonder what I'd be without you. <laughs> yeah. What does he mean? What noise? It began on Gallifrey. His children. What did he call it childhood? Or a life of duty. Eight years old. I was taken for initiation to stare into the untempered schism. What does that mean? It's a gap in the fabric of reality. You can see into the time vortex itself. And it hurts. <clears throat> took me there. In the dark. I locked it in time. Hey, what are you hearing, sir? I heard it. Calling to me. Drums. The never ending drums. The untempered schism. That's when it began. History, he says. 
the master heard a rhythm, a torment that stayed with him for the rest of his life. A drumbeat. The warrior's mark. A symptom of insanity, my lord. thing about you is that after all this time you're still bone dead stupid take aim you've got six billion pairs of eyes but you still can't see the obvious can you six billion like pairs what of... that guard is one inch too tall mm. <laughs> oh yeah nice. i've never hit anyone in my mind <laughs> Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, me too. God bless the cactuses. That's cat pie. That's racist. This prophecy of yours, Doctor, where did it come from? Doctor? Come on! We've got to get out! There's too many buckles and straps! Just wheeling! No, 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 get me out! No! 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 no. What's going on? Doctor! Which way? Which way? Like, he's like, he's jumping to the next version of himself, oh. and he was thinking he's still there and talking to him. Oh, okay. Yeah, but how do they have to fight and they know what the fight they go to? I mean, that's what I'm just saying. Yeah. Rescue ever! Underneath the game, Richard. Please, get it! They just want to show it, it does it. Can you just go too far? Here? No, I think he turned off all the turned the 
thing off so it wouldn't show up. Yeah. But wouldn't you think you just you could just go far? Sorry, sir, nothing. Lost him. What about teleport coordinates? I need that information. Just cut the link, sir. No trace. All dead. Still. Open fire! No way back now. He's stranded. No sign of any missiles. No sign of anything. You've wrecked the place. The engines are burnt out. All we've got is auxiliary lights. Everything else is kaput. We can't move. We're stuck in orbit. Thanks to you. You idiot! Yeah, I know you though, but you've got a plan, haven't you? Hey? Come on. You've always got a trick up your sleeve. Oh, oh, nice girl. Nice into the old doctor. Something so simple. So small and shining. Shining bright and cold. The tiny, tiny star falling, falling. Burning, burning, burning. Small enough to follow the link. And if this were on Earth... The most impossible diamond. You won't believe this. It's a white point star. White point star? My wife's buried down there. I might never visit her again now. <laughs> Do you think he changed them? In their graves? I'm sorry. No, not your fault. Isn't it? Oh, 1948. I was over there. End of the mandate in Palestine. Private mops, skinny little idiot I was. <laughs> Stood on this rooftop in the middle of a skirmish. Like a blizzard, all them bullets in the air. <laughs> the world gone mad. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to listen to an old man's tales, do you? I'm older than you. Get away. I'm Get not away. 106. Oh, really, though? Yeah, yeah. Nine hundred years. No, look it. We must look like insects to you. <laughs> I think you look like giants. Mm. I love his love for humanity so much. Listen, I want you to have this. I've kept it all this time, and I thought, no, no, but if, if you take it, you could. You've had that gun in the mansion. You could have shot the master there and then. Too scared, I suppose. I'd be proud. Of what? If you were my dad. Oh. Come on, don't start. Right, Jesus. <laughs> well, you said you were told he will knock four times and then you die. Well, that's him, isn't it? The master. That noise in his head. The master is going to kill you. Yeah. 
then kill him first. And that's how the master started. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it's not that I'm an innocent. I've taken lives. Before? The master? No, he's just talking about... The Time Lords restored. You weren't there in the final days of the war. You never saw what was born. But if the Time Lords broke, then everything's coming through, not just the Daleks. But... Oh, it's oh, so weird to see the fucking the doctor with a gun. Like, yeah. it's. Kill me. If the link gets broken, they go back. Is murder. But which one of us? Oh, this is kind of stressing me out a little bit. Is that the lady that's been visiting fucking Wilfred? Yeah. Is that his mom? Is it his mom? It could be his mom. Why does it look like that? There you go, then. Yeah, good old. If you could uh, let me out. Yeah. I mean, this thing seems to be making a bit of a noise. The master left the nuclear bolt running. It's gone into overload. And that's bad, is it? No, because all the excess radiation gets vented inside there. Been watching glass. Contains it. Oh my god, he's gonna let him out. He's gonna all do a fucking Armageddon. Rides, about he's about to do an Armageddon. <laughs> well, you better let me out then. No. No, no, please, please don't. No, don't, don't. Please don't, please. Wilfred, it's my honor. Better be quick. Three, two, one. <laughs>
have you changed? Well, what? Yeah. Is he okay? Hello. I still with us? <coughs> System's dead. I told it all. All things kaput. <coughs> One more time. What do you mean? When's that? Just keep looking. I'll be there. Where are you yeah, going? Somebody else. Well, uh... To get my reward. Take that for picking up. Hallucinations. I mean, how else are you going to explain it? Everyone with a different face. You're going to change all these kind of things. You're going around all day, babe. Just you. I can do that now before I change. You're fixing all these wrongs that would have happened. She was a nurse in 1913. She fell in love with this man called John Smith. 
Except That's he was a visitor from another world. Yeah. She fell in love with a man from the stars. Oh, yeah. And she wrote it all down. That was from that one episode, maybe. Thank you. Where they were married or something. Remember a long time ago? Back in the day. Oh, we don't doctor. To the doctor. Yeah, yeah. Funny. That's the name he used. Mm-hmm. Was she happy in the end? Yes, she was. That's all that matters. Were you? Yeah, if you want to see how it is. Hey, Smith. It was on the news. Crimes undisclosed. And his daughter, both of them, locked up. Mm. Yeah, but I keep thinking, Doctor, there's one thing you never told me. That woman, who was she? I just wanted to give you this. Yes, Mama. Wedding present. Thing is, I never carry money, oh, yeah, so yeah. I just pop back in time. Borrowed a quid off a really lovely man. Jeffrey Noble, his name was. Have it, he said. Have that on me. Oh, her husband? Smile! Don't tell me it's a bill. Just what I need right now. A lottery ticket? What oh a cheap God. present! Who was that? Still, you never know. It's a trouble roll over this week. I might get lucky. <laughs> Oi, Sean! Oh, you about oh, to get lucky. Oh, that was a good gift for yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, drop that off.
this song is ending, but the story never ends. time war um, came and went just like that uh, a, a nice little twist how it got over with you know I thought for a second the doctor was going to use the gun which he did though just shot the machine which okay made sense then the master came back and did his laser threes at, at the time lord and you know um, in a nutshell there you go now let's get to the meat of this whole thing right here um um uh, What's our doctor name? Tenet. Tenet. Man, shit. That acting, for sure. In every one of his dramatic parts that he needed to be on, it was on. And I love how they drew it out at the end there to let him go back and make right what once went wrong um, of all the things that he knew was going to happen to people and then even left off some gifts to some other ones. Everybody that we've seen thus far on this journey he had a um, proper goodbye. And a good send-off for the doctor. And, I mean, damn. He did not want to go. His face in the end. He's like, I ain't even want to be off the shelf. I just want to I wanna keep doing, doing some more. And that was so dramatic and heartfelt that he did that. And, and, and of course, when, when they change, man, it, it is over-the-top crazy. And now we got a brand new doctor. Um, he looks a little younger, you know. Um... I didn't recognize him. I think, I, we, I, have, I I think, him I think we have seen him, but I couldn't place him. We may have seen him as something before, but I haven't recognized his face like for real, for real. So, um, already off the back, his little wittiness and, and legs and fingers and all, I think he's so he's gonna have some energy. He's gonna be a, a maybe fun, and let's see, uh, you know, if I can get get to know him and like him. But you know, we'll find that out shortly when we get into season five. But man, what a great couple! Of, well, these two right here in particular, the, the in the time. Great, great ending to a, a storyline that was going off the whole time uh, from in here. And I like how everything ended. Where do we go from here? I don't know. But man, I enjoy Tenet performance as Doctor Who for sure. So I cannot wait to see a season five. I don't know how you guys do this with like falling in love with a doctor yeah, and then yeah, leaving. Like, what the, it's so difficult. Um, I've obviously messed up a little bit. Um, it was a really good episode, though. I loved especially that he got to have... I liked the, the way that they, he framed, at first, his he was upset about his reward, that he ultimately has to die. And then he switched it, that his reward is that he gets to do these last couple things before he dies. Mm -hmm. um, specifically, saving Martha, saving Old Girl's son, too. Um was really well done. I can't. I'm, I'm messed up. I'm just going to end it here. It was a really good episode. I'm going to miss David. It'll be difficult to see how long it a takes to get activated to New Doctor. Yep. All right. Well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk reaction for the End of Time Part 2 of Doctor Who. And until next time.